guys. I finally went on holiday in a different country. How'd it feel? It was nice to be away from, I guess, the UK for a while. Or it was uh, nice and sunny in Italy, or well, Rome. Uh, it was really good to see a different place, part of the world that wasn't our little island. Yeah, no, it's good, fun, good fun. Remind me, who did you go with, or did you go by yourself? Just went with family. Was it? Was it just over the weekend, or was it like a short break? I can't remember. Just, just a weekend, uh, Friday to Monday. So, you, ah, all right, yeah. I've got a really important question here. Mm-hmm. Um, would you say for like holidays abroad, do you think you can actually fit everything you want to in a short weekend? Because I bet, like, you could easily spend like a week or two doing a lot of things. Whereas, or do you think like a weekend is just sort of a nice sort of length of time? I think it depends where you're going. Like a city break, maybe a long weekend, maybe a little bit over. It, probably a decent amount i think if you go in like i guess a f- few different places you probably want like a longer a week or maybe a bit more I don't, I don't know it depends what you're wanting but i think like uh a, definitely city breaks a long weekend are normally pretty good like we we had basically three near enough three full days of exploring rome and we pretty much got through like all the main stuff really everything in the center maybe if we had a bit more time we could have seen a few things uh given a few things a bit more attention but for the most part we saw pretty much what you want to see in rome okay it's just because obviously i've never been abroad like as soon as i got my passport a pandemic happened so i've literally i've never left left the country mm. i've never been wales i've never been scotland uh, i've never been anywhere so i don't i don't know anything about travel both wales and scotland are lovely places I recommend them. Well, I'd absolutely love to go there for a weekend. Oh, I, I definitely want to go back to both of them. Probably more Scotland since I've only been there once. It was uh, maybe like five years ago, but that was fantastic. I did a road trip up to the top of Scotland for a wedding and then uh, came back down a couple of days after. It was good. Awesome. Yeah. No? No, no room was... Mm-hmm. Did you get did you, uh, what sort of activities did you do in Rome? Like, did you go visit the Colosseum? Did yeah, you go... did that uh, yesterday, uh, as of this recording. Uh, and then we uh, like the uh, Friday we went around most of Rome, and then uh, the Saturday we did the um, Vatican City, and and then yesterday we did the Colosseum, and then the uh, Roman ruins. Honestly, I really want to go like exploring places. I'm not sure if it's just because of lockdown or just like just being an adult in general and sort of just steadily just sort of mm. getting sick and tired of the UK sometimes. I just want, I just just want to go, yeah, and explore. Well, I'm hoping to. Well, not well. I'm gonna have to proper book it this week. Uh, I'm hoping to go Belgium um, in a couple of weeks. So that's at least something to look forward to. Did you say you went by plane or did you take Eurostar? Uh, to Rome. Yeah. I went by plane. I was. will say one thing though. One thing I, I missed when I came back to the UK, and that was. Fun, this is you probably don't, probably gonna be surprised by this, is the actual traffic, the traffic in Rome and the roads like the Rome road etiquette, was awful. <laughs> like really? when we were in the taxi I thought I was we were uh, the taxi was going to get hit like every so often like the drivers took no regard to anyone they were like, <laughs> like uh, move out of the way this is like where you know you would give way they were like nah I don't, like <laughs> the, my, on the way to the airport today the taxi driver came onto a roundabout it wasn't his right of way and then came off the roundabout and didn't give way to someone coming on. <laughs> I was just like, you, you, what is going on here? And like, even when you're crossing the road, uh, it's a little bit like America where you can like do a, is it a, a right turn or a left turn? I think it's a right turn, a uh, traffic light. Um, so it's a little bit like that, but instead of, 
a right turn, it's a left turn, and so you'll be walking across, and then a car will just be wanting to come across while it's on green man. You're like, wait, what's going on here? It, it, this is, I'm walking across this on green man, and a car is just trying to bulldoze me down already. <laughs> awful, awful roads. Like, road etiquette, out the wazoo. I was saying, it makes you feel any better in Leicester. We had some sort of big accidents over the weekend. So, like, on Friday, I had to walk, like, a fair distance down the road. So, like, where the accident was, obviously, I went to the bus stop before where the accident was, thinking, okay, maybe the bus will come down this way, take a diversion. I was waiting at the bus stop. The, none of the buses were coming. Like, we saw a bus go past, like, a different direction. And I was like, hang on a minute. That's our bus. Like, why has it gone that way? And then, obviously, none of the... um that the um, time boards have been updated since the accident. So everyone thought, okay, we're going to get some buses coming down this way. So we ended up backtracking to the previous, previous bus stop. There's a crap load of traffic there and there was no way we were going to cross the road to actually get to the bus stop. So we were just like, right, okay, let's just walk further down. So we had to backtrack all the way down and go literally to the bus stop. Either the second, I think the second bus stop after the one we usually get on. And that's where we managed to get on the bus. And even then it was just like, oh God. I was, it was so hot that day as well. Like It's not often we get warm weather in the UK, but the weekend was very, very humid and hot. I had I had like frozen food on me so because I went shopping. I had a long sleeve shirt on me. I just went to the gym with Callum. My legs were dead. I was miserable because of the heat and how sore my legs were, and I just could not be arsed. It was a horrible, horrible day. Damn. Oh. You know, it's what... the one-year anniversary, and we're talking about pussies. <laughs> well, well, I guess the last thing I want to say about Rome is it made me want to play Assassin's Creed again, which I didn't think I'd think about or say. And I never want to play Assassin's Creed. Ever. I was going to say, like you'd say that to Chris, he'll shit on it, shit on that opinion. I think it's just the fact that I, I remember Brotherhood going through all of Rome, and I was like, oh, it would be nice to like play it again and see Rome through that game again. It'd be like, oh. I wonder what I can recognise and that. <laughs> yeah. So does that mean when you're going through Rome, you just randomly fall through the floors and people's faces just disappear? How did you know? Just like in the game. <laughs> hmm. you just click through the walls. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the driving's so bad. <laughs> they're just gonna click through everything. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Victory Achieve Podcast, a video game podcast. I'm Dan, and I'm with Brandon and Chris, and it's our one-year anniversary. Yay, congratulations, guys. We made it. Whoop, whoop, etc. We've been chatting shit for 26 episodes, <laughs> at least. Yep. And we'll chat shit for at least 26 more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, episode 27, today, our one-year anniversary. But before we get into our big topic... We got and some. Uh, we have some uh, ground groundwork. No, what's some little things to sort go through first? Uh, I guess what I guess one thing we, oh, we mentioned last week. Uh, well, not last week. Um, last episode was episode. Uh, Doctor Strange Two. I know you've seen it now, Chris. I have seen it now. Uh, yes, uh, I, I live in the uh, multiverse where I managed to see the film. Rather than the multiverse where I didn't go and see them. Uh, yeah. So, in a nutshell, because I'm trying desperately not to spoil it, but this is a really hard film to talk about without spoiling anything. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, all I would say is um, I very much enjoyed it. Um, for me, it's one of the... For the um, I'm going to put it in like the upper tier of Marvel. Not like the best, but still really solid. Uh, if you like Sam Raimi movies, uh, like things like Evil Dead, and it definitely is a Sam Raimi movie, and um, hell yeah, um, it's I fucking loved it. Uh, everything just kept going. Um, how long was the film? About two hours. Yeah, just over so two hours. hours. Yeah, um, it just fucking flew by for me. Like there was always something going on. There was always something like entertaining. You know, it's a good sign where what 
because about halfway for the film, I needed a piss, and I I could not pick a spot to go. <laughs> I was just like, oh, come on, <laughs> come on, come on. I I'm, I'm waiting for the scene where they like like uh, slow down and like have a chat, like because there's always something like that. Like after a big action scene, they sort of in most films they have like a a sort of reprieve for a bit where they sort of assess what's going on. <laughs> Uh, that's why I, I normally take my breaks. It's like, yeah, I, th- I think I can gather what the next minute of film is going to be. I might miss like one witty line or two, but I kind of get the gist. So. But yeah, but uh, yeah, Doctor Strange. Yeah, fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I thought it was all okay. I knew that would come in. <laughs> I didn't like. I didn't hate it, or I didn't think it was a bad film. But I, I, I got halfway through the film, and I was like, "The first Doctor Strange is better." I really don't think it is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Really I think there's just too many elements that you need, kind of need to know to enjoy this film. Like, if you've not watched One Division, like half of this film would just fall absolutely flat like I, I like my, my dad likes all the marvel films and if he went to see this he'd be like wait what the hell is going on because he he doesn't have disney plus cuz he doesn't have a smart tv and he doesn't and well he hates video games so he's not going to have a, a game console to ha- to have disney plus on so he's not watched one division. So, if he watched it, he'd be like, "What the hell is going on?" And like, I don't know. In some ways, it kind of made One Division worse. The film just kind of, kind of did. I don't know. It kind of made the end of One Division really, kind of confusing. I don't. I, I, I'd, I'd argue the opposite because I wasn't a huge fan of One Division. It's one of my least favorites out of the series, and I kind of like how it sort of gave it closure. It sort of brought Wanda's arc to an end. Mm. At least that... Uh, so, I don't know if they might bring her back in some way or form, but I don't think there's any need to, I like, think, like, she's had her arc. That, that'll do me. I don't know. I think they might bring her back, but I don't know how with... without spoilers of what happens in said film. I, I you know, I, I didn't hate the film, and don't dislike it. I, I, I think there's worse Marvel films, uh, MCU films, definitely. It, but I, out of like the Phase Four films, like I put it on the same level as Black Widow, personally. Oh. I, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I, I think, like, it had like some good element, really good elements, but I don't know if it, they all landed for me. Ma- Maybe it it just didn't resonate with me. I don't know, but I just I was gonna, I was going to say like because everyone I spoke to uh, who has seen it has really really liked it. <laughs> You're the first one to say like, oh, it's only okay. I I also thought the I said it last week, but I also thought the CGI for it wasn't that great it, in certain sections, like the like the deaf ghost things towards the end. I thought. They looked shocking. I thought the CGI for them was awful. Well, I, I, I survived like the early CGI when that first came came you know, out, so everything looks good compared to that. Like, bad CGI doesn't really stand out that much to me because I'm aware that everything that's happening is not real. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I don't know. It's, it, it never really bothers me all that much because mm-hmm. like, I know people got on a high horse saying, oh, CGI and Black Panther is shit. It's like, yeah, but I I know it's computer. <laughs> yeah, some of the CGI it in Black Panther me. is awful. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bother me. Did you did you see uh, Doctor Strange in three D? Wait, what the first one? I uh, didn't. The, the new one. Oh, you could watch it in three D. Yeah, well, I was gonna say that's how I watched it. Oh, I didn't know. I I watched it in yeah. IMAX. So okay. When, oh, when... Well, I I I I never plan like. Um, what screen I'm going to see it on? It's purely as and when I can go to the cinema. If it mm. happens to be IMAX or 3D, then so be it. <laughs> yeah. But that's how I seen it, and um, I wouldn't say like the 3D was like absolutely stand out. But I think, like like a lot of people, you, you kind of get used to the 3D. So 
it doesn't seem as eye popping as like when it first came out. But I, I think that probably elevated the CGI somewhat, being 3D. Uh, like, I feel like this film and I think Eternals is a good example as well. Is kind of the MCU adding maybe more elements or making it more convoluted than it needs to be and adding more things where unless you read the comics you're gonna know nothing for example without spoiler spoilers that post credit scene the first one of a uh, multiverse of madness i it ended and i was like what the fuck who the fuck is that and even everyone i went with most of us i think 99 percent of us were all like who the fuck is that? Ex- yes, we know who the ac- the person playing said character, but who is the character? Like, yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna wait uh, with hell breath for the uh, the pizza popper film and or series of films. I need my pizza popper films. <laughs> no. I, I catch who played him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I Did think get... sometimes I feel like I'm a bit too nice over the Marvel stuff, and maybe I need to be a bit more harsher. But I don't know. No, I really enjoy it. It's got Bruce Campbell in it. It gets an A plus, ten out of ten, mm. eleven out of ten, fifty fifty billion out of one. <laughs> I forgot how maths works there. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it. Dan didn't. But then again, Dan really liked Moon Knight and I didn't, so we've, we've, we've traded places. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. What else have we got before we move on to our topic? Well, I, I feel like I, I've played a few things, so I could go on for a bit, but our topic is absolutely massive, so I do feel like we ought to get it out of the way. Yeah, it is, it is a very, very beefy topic. Okay, well, I've got one. Th- then I've got one thing before it. Mm. So, on when I was on the on the uh, the way to Rome, I started a game called a short hike. I did put it on our Instagram of uh, an, a uh, a screenshot from it. Um, it was ironically, I'd say, from walking from here to Italy is anything but a short hike. Mm. <laughs> so, I, I started. A short hike on f- on the Friday, on the on the aeroplane, and before I went to bed, I finished a short hike. Uh, it really doesn't take long at all to play and complete, uh, but it's really really cute and really fun and just really cozy. Uh, the graphics remind me of um, the like. DS Zelda games and you can switch between like more a more crispy uh, style of it or a more smoother style and both look good. I, I opted for the smoother style because I think it just had the edge over the crisper harsher style but both are fine. I think the harsher style looks a lot more like the 3D, uh, the DS Zelda games but you just play in a short hike you just play as a penguin and you're just hiking up, uh, you're just climbing a mountain, flying and all that uh, to get to the top of the mountain so that you get signal for your phone. And <laughs> you meet a whole load of characters and like some are like painting and you're like, oh, I'm not sure about this painting. And you're like, oh, no, it's good painting. There's like people fishing and so you're like, you can do a bit of fishing. There's people who want to have a race with you and so you can have a race. And it's just the whole, it's just, a really nice, fun, cozy package, and it doesn't take only takes a couple of hours to complete. And it was it was fun. What actually inspired you to pick it up? Uh, I watched um, a YouTuber play it on stream, and I was like, I'm gonna play it. I'm I'm gonna play it. I actually watched them complete it, and I just and then while they were playing it, I bought it, and then. Yeah, a couple of days later, I played and completed it. <laughs> also, the soundtrack is lovely. It's got these. It's most of it's done by piano, acoustic guitar, 
and some string instruments and that's near enough it, it. I think there's some bongos as well but they're more background than anything and it's just r really simple cozy soundtrack it, it just feels like a very cozy game it doesn't feel like anything serious anything too yeah it just feels really comfortable I had a lovely time. <laughs> right then, so <laughs> with that with that out of the way. So how how we how we're gonna do this is it's gonna be a little bit different to our normal format. So what we're gonna do here with Games Video everyone is I have got a list set up ready to go. In fact I've got many lists. I've got far yeah. too many lists. <laughs> so our our topic is the game of the years from Correct. 1997, no, 1998, all Correct. the way to 2021. Correct. So, how I'm going to do this is I am going to read out the year, the game that was game of the year, and I'm going by uh, the BAFTA Awards, which for anyone who doesn't know, it stands for the British Academy Games Awards, uh, which was yeah. the Interactive Entertainment Awards. Um, and we've got to do this one because, you know, we are British after all. <laughs> and uh, so the Americans aren't really going to go by this uh, standard. I mean, they might do if they go on Wikipedia. But, you know, <laughs> that bastion of knowledge. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to read out the, the year, the game. And then, for a slight twist, I'm going to uh, mention just a handful of games. Not all, not loads. We're, we're here forever. Just a handful of games that also came out that year of notes. Which, and then we're going to have a very quick discussion whether those should have been games of the year instead. That's basically how it's going to work. So, strap yourselves in. If you want to pause, your listeners, and uh, grab yourself a cuppa. <laughs> strap yourself in. <laughs> Dan, Brandon, are you ready? Ready as I can be, I guess. Let's go. Excellent. Well, we shall start off with a very Mario themed uh, game from 1998, Goldeneye. Mm -hmm. Goldeneye okay. 007. <laughs> okay, I, I feel like if without knowing what else came out that year, I'd say Goldeneye 007 is a very, very strong candidate. All right, so let me just list off a couple of games that also came out. Uh, so, 98, you had uh, Ocarina of Legend, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Half Life, Metal Gear Solid, uh, uh, Resident Evil 2, and um, we'll say Baldur's Gate as well. You also got. Um, yeah. Yeah, so there's, 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 there's a lot. So many. There's a lot. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cherry pick what I think are the best ones of the best games. <laughs> but for me, um, yeah, Golden is really damn good. If I had to give it a close second, I'll go for Resident Evil too. But Half Life there is too. What, what um, do you guys think? I don't know. Like, I, I, well, the, I guess. If we're if, if it is just 1998, it for me it'd be Ocarina. But then, the thing is with Oc we were we mentioned this before we started recording. The thing with Ocarina, it was it re it was released at the back end of 98. So, I guess are you going to consider that for 99 or 98? Because with, with uh, I'll say the baggers they can well spoiler alert for the next one they considered it for the next. Yeah. So, well, I mean, if we if if we do it based on, see, it's I hard it's hard because the list I'm looking at it only tells you what came out on 1998. It doesn't give you like a strict, like nomination time period or when it came no. out because like cause like you said like you had Banjo Kazooie which came out summer 98 which is a fucking fantastic game. You had, um, yeah, Ocarina of Time. You had, you know, there was quite a few bangers that year. Obviously, bloody 007. Well, you got Sonic Adventure too, but I don't think so, uh, Sonic Adventure was going to get well, too the, well, the thing is, even with uh, uh, GoldenEye, it came out in 1997, not actually 1998. But it was, like Ocarina, it was the back end of 97. So I should have pointed out, for those at home, the uh, Baptist is held in, uh, in and around April. So if something comes out after April, it won't be on that game of the year. It will come out next year. So that's that to consider. But, but this is why I got this. That's why I got this. I so that was ninety eight. Are, are we are we in agreement that uh, 
Well, pretty much that golden eye deserves that. No. <laughs> no. It's always me. You think I'll this guy? Well, I, uh, I think it, it does. If we're doing like strictly 98 games, it would be Ocarina. Yeah. But if we're doing it by the logic of BAFTAs, I would go Metal Gear Solid. Mm. Fair enough. And if Brandon? it's BAFTA, I'm going to say I'm torn between Golden Knight or Banjo Kazooie or Sonic Adventure 2. Wait, did you say it was Sonic Adventure 2 that came out that uh, year? It's the first one. Sorry. First one. Oh, Sonic Adventure. I'm not too keen on that one, but. Oh, uh, um, yeah, it's good. Now, nah, fuck it. I'm going to say Banjo Kazooie. All right, so we've got three different ones. So. There you go. So got... Purely because so it, cause if I think about it objectively in terms of what games have I spent more time playing and enjoying, mm. oh, fuck, I can't do it. Right. I okay. can't do it. Uh, <laughs> right, let, let's not confuse ourselves with like what came out exactly when. Uh, let's just stick to the ones we read out. And we won't bring you into it. <laughs> so we'll just say what what games came out that year on the list, and what whatever made game year. Bring it. So that was ninety eight. So we've got three different picks for that. We got Banjo Kazooie, uh, Ocarina, and that's, that's what we'll go for. So ninety nine was uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, but also the games you had that year was uh, of note: uh, Super Smash Brothers, Final Fantasy VIII, Resident Evil Three. Silent Hill, Donkey Kong 64. Well, I'm going to go through for that. And Pokemon Red and Blue. And Gold and Silver. Pokemon Red and Blue's 96. In uh, Japan, but in Europe it was... No, it's only a port, though. <laughs> I'm on camera. <laughs> well, I, I, if it's 1999... Ah, uh, but then again, that's Japan release I'm looking at. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's not bring years into it. Let's just stick to yeah. Piece. Okay, so if we stick to what it, you said, well, yeah. oh, it's Ocarina. Okay. Like, there's no. Yeah, I'm, for it, me, it's, hands it's, down, it's going to be Ocarina. Like, it's me. It's Ocarina. There's no. There's no way I can say anything else. Yeah, yeah I'm. I'm totally so, for Ocarina here. The fact that I'm, so, I've got so, so Dan's o- so got post. Ocarina. So Dan's got Ocarina of Time for two years running. <laughs> no, I said the first one was Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Okay. Metal Gear for now. Good. Oh, it's getting confusing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I, will, I, I will go with Silent Hill myself. Because um, I fucking love Silent Hill. <laughs> Simple as that. And and that's with having Resident Evil 3 on the list. No, Silent Hill, man. That started a hell of a franchise. Uh, anyway. Right. So that was 99. Moving on to the uh, turn of the century, 2000. Well, so this is why this is why I didn't want to get things confusing because technically this has three. Uh, for console, it had Medieval Two. For handheld, it had Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> and for PC, it had Deus Ex. So, I say I'm frothing at the mouth for this one already. But you've also had in this year uh, Final Fantasy IX. Well, uh, no my choice <laughs> already. <laughs> uh, uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2, Resident Evil Code Veronica, more Resident Evil. God damn, they pumped them out fast. Uh, Paper Mario uh, is of notes. And of course, Evil Dead Hail to the King. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's some games there. Um, yeah, oh, we've got you... Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 as well, which I think I've mentioned before I get grotted by not mentioning it. <laughs> well, my answer is Fantasy 9, obviously. Uh, I actually, today, well actually it came on Friday, but I, because I've obviously been away, uh, mm-hmm. I got it today, my new Final Fantasy IX poster, so that I put that up, so, yes. Did you have Alexander and uh, Yep. 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 So, Great. that is my choice, so, of that's course. That's your choice, Brandon? Okay, so if I was, if, if it was just straight in terms of nostalgia... It would be either Yellow or Majora's Mask. But if we're looking at it in terms of just sheer gameplay content, mm-hmm. it's going to be Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, so we'll see. You're both in Final Fantasy IX. I'm tempted to give it Final Fantasy IX, but I have to be different. If I'm going to talk about a game that I've probably played more than any other this game, I'm going to agree with a list on the handheld one and go with Pokemon Yellow. 
That's literally what I was thinking, because Yellow is the game of that list, which I have played so much. Mm. Uh, be- before everyone gets very angry at me, yes, I am a big fan of Deus Ex. And we'll put them out, because I know there's a lot of people... Really Wait, is, like isn't Pokemon game. Stadium also on that list? Uh, not in the one I'm looking at. It came out April 7th. Well, it ain't on there. <laughs> not the one I'm looking yeah. at. Maybe it's in the next one. So... Yeah, that in terms of sheer, fun. if it was just in terms of sheer gameplay content, it would be Final Fantasy IX. But for nostalgia, for me, it would be Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. So yeah. So that's well, if we're counting the votes twice, that's two for Final Fantasy and two for Pokemon Yellow. Mm. What a year two thousand was. Two thousand okay. was a turn of century. Wow. Two thousand one. Right now, brace yourselves because there's quite a few in this one. <laughs> so. For the games of the year, again, it's split into three. And it's also split into three for next year, but then every other year it's reduced down to one of them. I don't know why they've done Bastards. But for <laughs> console, you had Gran Turismo 3, Handheld, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, and PC and Max Payne. They were the winners. Now, other <laughs> games that came out, Super Smash Bros. Melee, <laughs> uh, Jack and Daxter, Silent, oh. Hill, Silent Hill 2, Halo, Sonic Avenger 2, Final Fantasy X, Metal Gear Solid 2, SSX Tricky, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, Devil May Cry. There's quite a lot that came out in 2001. Honey Musher, Advance Wars, RuneScape, Golden Sun, Red Faction, Rogue Leader, Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. Shut up to stop there. It's like a geek guy. There's, there's a lot in 2001. There is a lot. Holy yeah. crap. Oh, and one little game called Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. Ico as well. Yeah, yeah Ico too. So... Amazing. Amazingly, Grand Theft Auto 3 does not get game of the year. Unless it's on the back of it. I think, for me, uh, it's a toss-up between two, and that is Smash Bros. Melee and Metal Gear Solid 2. And I don't know. I'm kind of, like, not really sure which one I'd pick. Um... For like time I've played melee, but what I think might be the better game, maybe Metal Gear Solid Two. But I don't think it's like picking your favorite sibling, not favorite really sibling, is. favorite Th- child. This year's, this year's a hard one. I'd probably go melee only because I've played it far more hours. But there's so many good games in 2001. Yeah, if I had to pick between the two, I'm thinking of two that jump out. So- Melee, obviously, but Silent Hill Two as well. But oh, no. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna give the edge to Melee, but only because I've already picked Silent Hill as one game of the year. So I'm trying to diverse myself a little bit. Otherwise, it goes to Silent Hill Two. So. And Brandon, I'm gonna go for Sonic Adventure Two. I absolutely it was my back. most played GameCube game when that came out. Absolutely freaking adored it. I'm surprised yeah. neither if you said Halo. See, I obviously I played Halo earlier this year, hmm. but obviously Halo. I didn't. I didn't. The first Halo game I played was Halo Three, so that was my benchmark in terms of that. Obviously, playing Halo One and completing it. I've never played Halo, so. It, but actually, no, I haven't completed it yet. I'm getting through it. It's obviously it's it's. It's clunky, but now that looking at it, it's bloody twenty years old. So of course, it's going to be clunky. Very, very strong what, first person shooter, though. I tell you what, I can't wait to read the comments of this episode. Why? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be people. You forgot this game. You forgot this one as well. So, trust me, I didn't forget it. Just does an awful lot to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's way too, there's way too yeah. many to get through here. Yeah. All right. So moving on, 2002. Uh, again, split into three, but this is the last year split into three. I don't know why it's split into three for three years. Just to make it. Consistency, I guess. But uh, so console, uh, Halo Combat Evolved actually got game of the year. Uh, so that must have come out after April. Uh, handheld SMS Chess. Oh now, my gosh! <laughs> this is the best game of all time. No. I was about to say though, oddly enough, um, this is the only game on the entire list that doesn't have a hyperlink. <laughs> it's because there's no <laughs> information about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even uh, Purple and... Software don't exist anymore, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and also for EPC was Neverwinter Nights. 
Never uh, heard of that game, so I'm going to open up a tab yep. for that. It's based top-down on... game, a bit like, a bit like Diablo. Yeah, I think it's based off D&D. Mm. Well, that looks pretty interesting. Anyway, the other games that came out in that year of notes, uh, Time Spitters 2, Super Mario Sunshine, Metroid Prime, Metroid Fusion, very spoiled that year, uh, Eternal Darkness, Hitman 2, uh, Ratchet & Clank, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Sly Cooper, uh, the GameCube remake of Resident Evil, uh, Wind Waker, which Dan may have mentioned, which, uh, that, that may have mentioned Wind Waker before, uh, Kingdom Hearts, yeah, uh, Mafia, yeah. Morrowind, again, there's a lot of games this year. Oh, 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 I see something on that list. I see something on the list. <laughs> is it Spyro instead of the Dragonfly or Monkey Ball 2? No, it's Dark Chronicle. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might spot that. <laughs> uh, we also got the thing in Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. So I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll get mine out of the way first. Um, if, if I had to pick between one of those, and um, it, this is a hard one, but I'm going to give the edge to Metro Fusion. Because I've replayed that game so many times. Like more than any other game. And that's including Time Splitters 2. I have played Metroid Fusion. I want to say Time Splitters 2, but I'm pretty sure somewhere along the line Time Splitters 3 is going to be there, and I'm going to pick that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's the, the best. Time Splitters 2 is great, but Future Perfect is. is better. I think <laughs> it is better as well. Mm. I think so, with 2002, I'm. I'm only going to pick this one only because I've already picked a Zelda a game, so I'm going to pick Metro Prime. But Wind Waker is a, cl- is a close second. Um, I-, I probably do think Wind Waker is probably better than Metro Prime, but then Metro Prime is an absolute gem, and it's such a good game. Mm-hmm. Okay, if, um, we was doing, it- if I was looking at it subjectively, Sunshine is the one I've played the most. But in terms of the game, which I think in terms of, like I said, sheer content, the amount of hours you can invest into it and just how creative you can be with it, it's Dark Chronicle. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. slept on game. Absolutely incredible game. Dad, Still not I'll... completed it. I was betting you were going to say FIFA Football 2003. How did you, you sure? know? <laughs> Are you sure I wasn't going to say Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003? Well, none of us picked Kingdom Hearts. Or FIFA. Right, weird, eh? Well, Again, yeah. I could have gone for Resident Evil, but... Ah, we'll save that for another day. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was 2002. All right, uh, that's some good games, this one. 2003! Only right. one entry this time for Game of the Year. It's Call of Duty. Absolutely fantastic game. <laughs> All right, oh, before, you, good... before you get carried away, then. <laughs> it's so good, though. Other games of note this year. I now for me, I think it drops off a little bit this year. There are some bangers on here. Don't get me wrong, but I think it drops off a little bit. Uh, so we have got Tales of Symphonia. We have got uh, Evil Dead: Fist with a Boomstick, which I'm not going to lie, I quite like that one. Uh, Silent Hill 3, Manhunt, which I know uh, is very popular. Uh, you also have the uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh, Final, oh, Fan- oh, 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 oh. Final Fantasy uh, X2, Max Payne 2, and uh, we'll go with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, because I know that's very popular as well. I'm just looking, I'm just looking at the notable releases. Oh, God. Oh, Sonic Heroes as well. If you want I mean, Sonic Heroes was fun, but... Ooh, dude, how have you missed this off? Okay, I already know what my answer is going to be. Tony Hawk's underground. Wait, wait, no, it says here Dark Cloud came out this year for the 2003. Oh, it came out in Japan 2002. Okay, I was looking at the wrong bit. So if it was for this year, yeah, I'd say Dark Cloud 2, Dark Chronicle 2. But the other one I'm looking at here is um, Yu Gi Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Mm. Absolutely. That's probably the PS2 game I've played the most is Yu Gi Oh! Duelist of the Roses. I'm oh, fucking me. hell! I've actually got to choose between these two. <laughs> I'm, I got three. Well, I say three. I'm gonna as a as I've got two. I'm gonna on the three I, I'm considering is Call of Duty One, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Warcraft Three: The Frozen Throne. But I think out of the three, 
is going to have to be Mario Kart Double Dash. It was my first GameCube game. When I got my GameCube, that's what came with it, and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. But I think Mario Kart Double Dash is my game of, game for the 2003. I don't know. I don't know if Double Dash isn't on my list when I'm looking at it, surprisingly. That seems like quite the uh, one to miss. I think it's because it came out in Japan that year. Came out in the EU, maybe mm. subsequent. Mm. But for yeah, me, like... oh, I've, I've actually got to choose between Doors of the Roses and Dark Cloud too. Fucking hell. Well, why are you, why are you go with that? I'm going to go with... See, this is, this is really hard because... All these games that come out, I think the like the best ones on here are only all right. None of them like really stand out. It's quite hard for me to pick because I don't think all of them are that great. So I don't know. If, uh, I'm gonna have to stick with my guns. I'm I'm gonna have to go with Silent Hill Three on this one because <laughs> I think out of all the games, that's pretty good. Although Postal Two is there. And I fucking love Postal 2, but it is a game that's like deliberately jank. So. <laughs> and it's so offensive, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> but no, I'm just, just having a bit like, I'm just having a crisis over these two. Well, you got five seconds to have your crisis. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Underground is a good game as well. Mm. See, my brain, my brain wants to say Doors of the Roses, mm. but my heart wants to say Dark Cloud 2. Well, the heart's normally correct. Plus, you've, you've mentioned that several times on the podcast, so let's go with that. You'll be a hypocrite otherwise, Brendan. Yes, Dark Chronicle, <laughs> yeah. it is. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there we are. Silent Hill, uh, is it Double Dash, and that one. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, moving on to 2004. 2004. Uh, so I think this is well-deserved uh, before I look at the rest of the games, but uh, Half-Life 2 got game of the year in 2004 uh fucking hell that's that's the title but you also have halo 2 you got grand theft auto san andreas you got metal gear solid 3 uh a little game called world of warcraft doom 3 the first of the far cry series metroid prime echoes spider-man 2 on the gamecube i'm sorry that wins <laughs> and i don't have any no further discussion is needed. I'm two on the GameCube wins. Uh, yeah, uh, Fable. Yeah, uh, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Uh, Silent Hill: For the Room. Uh, you also had the port of uh, be Solid Twin Snakes. Uh, oh, that, Star that's Wars a, Battlefront. That is a. Oh yeah. You also had. Um... Oh, you. Mhm. So you also had a um, Metroid Zero Mission, which again I very much enjoy. That is a good uh, remake. Mm. So there we go. We're going to go with those. Uh, all right, mine's an easy one, and mine's going to be uh, San Andreas. Yep. So Hands down, San Andreas. Mhm. And then Snake Eater. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what? Snake Eater. Metal Gear I thought Solid you missed I thought you missed off the S and just said Snake Eater. <laughs> I, I, I see. It's because you, it's because you're singing it, and you don't want to get copyright struck. Mm. So it's Metal now, Gear Solid now 3 naked. Snake Eater Yeah that's pretty good I, Again I'm going with Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube I don't care what anyone says that one's... <laughs> that's, that. that's a short discussion I, I have not played any of the Half-Lives uh, I really want to I've got them I just need to get around to playing them Have you not? Uh, no I, 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 that's, yeah. It's like one of those games that I'm like One day I'll play it and it's I've always got it downloaded. I've at the click of a button, I can just play it. But I'm, I've, I'm, I'm either playing something else or uh, yeah. See, the, the the thing is with Half Life Two, is it pretty much perfected the physics engine. Um, so a lot of games now owe a hell of a lot to Half Life Two, which yeah. is why I think it's it is kind of deserving of Game of the Year just for the technical achievements, and it's paved the way for so much. Are you Even telling me San Andreas didn't have good physics? You know, with cars which could go flying, <laughs> tanks which could go flipping things everywhere. What you well, mean? Well, I've never actually played San Andreas. You I heretic. Yeah, I've been called that. I've never Andreas. played Half-Life. Have you not? You yeah, have played Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube, right? I think I played it. Was it on the PS2? Which Spider-Man was on the PS2? You'd know if you played it. <laughs> You'd know if you played it. Well, was it that jank? 
No, it's that good. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit of junk, but okay. It wins. Ah, uh, that was two thousand four. <laughs> oh wait, I just realised on this list it doesn't have two thousand five. Yes. So, um, oddly enough, there is no two thousand five. So it's right. I, I've opened up a page of two thousand and five in video games to give an idea right. of what there was. Right. So I'm going to have to do a curveball here, and I'm just going to go in the next one on the list because the next one down is the Electronic Game Awards. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to go with one that's on the Dice Awards for two thousand five because um, it's a non-profit organisation. So and it's done by industry professionals. So that has oh, a wait. bit of merit to it. Uh, wait a minute. What's that? Um. Wait, what's going on? Apparently, oh, oh, it it is that the next one is the two thousand five one. I don't know. Well, is that right? Well, I'm looking at something else. Year off. I'm looking at something else. Wait, have they uh, done it right? Wait, uh, uh, that's, not, that's not quite confused. Let's just let's just roll with the dice one because, to be honest, I I think no award is. Probably worth it. I'll say I think the baggers actually did miss a year. Mm. Um, because right now it, it's because yeah, the 2004 took place in 2005. Um, wait, you got that? Then it's Galaxy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, uh, all right. Anyway, Let's what came out in 2005? Let's carry okay. on. So, so for the for the Dice Awards at least, just for this one year, <laughs> uh, they awarded it to God of War. Which, yeah, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> but you're also in 2005. Uh, oh, now this is interesting for me because I said earlier I might get Time Splitters free, but I'm not because I see what else is in the list. This year. <laughs> so also in 2005, you had Psychonauts, you had Devil May Cry free. Obviously, you had Time Splitters, you had Call of Duty two, uh, Prince of the Two Thrones. You have Madagascar, The Warriors, which is a very underrated movie tie-in. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 2, Shadow of the Colossus. Bloody uh, hell. Yeah, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Uh, obviously mentioned God of War. Quake 4, I think is of note. Uh, Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. But I think the biggest one, which let's just get this out of the way. Resident Evil 4. Yes. Yes. Don't worry, I've, I found my yes. one. So if I could just sell a tape Time Splitters 3 to Resident Evil 4 and have that as one one pick, that, that would be mine. No, it's got to be Resident Evil 4. Sorry. <laughs> Brandon? Mine is Digimon World 4. Came out June June 2nd. Always the weeb. <laughs> Honestly, this... You know how I said um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of Roses was my most played PS2 game? Mm-hmm. Digimon World 4 would be my second option for the most played PS2 game. Only, only uh, So if I were to like, give you a tally, it will be Doors of the Roses, Digimon World 4, and then San Andreas. Like, they're my top three PS2 games i played. So Digimon World 4 holds a very, very special place in my heart, because I used to remember my friend, you know, like, bringing his memory card. Like, mm. we both stick both our memory cards in. And we just both, like, farm the game. We both Digivolve. We then go take on the bosses together, do everything together. You know, we just play it for hours and hours and hours. It's so, so good. Because it did a complete different take on the Digimon game. So rather than being like this Tamagotchi-based one, like in for Digimon World uh, 1, 2, and 3, it turned it into like a hack and slash. So you, like, you had like a leveling up system with stats and everything where you have to like choose your weapons and armor, which you use. So that was, it was, oh, it got so, so fun. The only downs, the only thing which I didn't like about the game is because I think they needed a better rendering engine to do it, because the load times between areas were so long. Mm. Like, you'd be waiting five minutes for a level to load. Like, <laughs> you'd be there absolutely ages waiting for these worlds to generate. That was my only downside, but yeah. Wait, why is San Andreas on this list? Oh, no, it came out on Windows that year. But yeah, Digimon World 4, that's mine. I thought you would pick Bratz Rock Angels. Not gonna lie. Nah. <laughs> Digimon World 4 all the way. Well... Right. Resident Evil 4 for me. Yep. <laughs> I know none of us, both of us wanted to pick Time Splitters 3. We really did. But come I've Resident played Evil. more Time Splitters Future Perfect, but I think when I actually think which is the better game is Resident Evil 4. And yeah, well. 
Yeah. I, I put I put a lot of time into Titan Splitters three, but I put even more time into Resident Evil four. I I've streamed that at least three times all the way through, <laughs> and that's just recent. I, that's one of the games I play at least once a year, at least. It's such a good game. Yeah, it's also one of the few Resident Evil games you can actually start to do like challenge runs in, like not the speed runs, but like sort of limit yourself to like weapons and that kind of thing. So that gives it a little bit more replay value. That's what I've been doing anyway. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, Resident Evil Four for this and Digimon World Four for Brenda. Bit, bit Hell of a, yeah. Bit, bit of a difference there, but hey, variety is the spice of life. Okay, so uh, going back to the BAFTA list, because the BAFTA decided, oh, you know what, we missed out last year, we should probably do one this year. So we're going to to 2006 now, and this is like a really weird pick, but I've never played it, so I can't say it, what it is, what it's like. But Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter got Game of the Year in 2006. I think I've played that, actually. Do you know if it's any good? I prefer Call of Duty 2. <laughs> I think I definitely prefer Call of Duty 2. Yes. Well, games that came out this year of notes. Uh, Final Fantasy XII. Uh, Okami, which is alright. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which I've heard is a bit meh, but it seems to be quite popular. Uh, Gears of War came out in 2006. Uh, Dead Rising. Call of Duty 3. Uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, yeah. You had uh, Resistance Fall of Man, which is like the start of that franchise. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, that's 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 a, certainly a game. Uh, Prey, but not that one, or or that one. <laughs> uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, which was a game that came out in two thousand and six, so you could probably guess the second half of that title. <laughs> um, Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS, good enough. Mother 3, which says coming out in 2006, but it hasn't been ported over to here, has it, Nintendo? No, it bloody hasn't. <laughs> Give us Mother 3, you bird. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm seeing some of the other candidates on this list. Oh, shitty right. hell. All right, so who wants to go first? Uh, All right. I might need to roll off some of my honourable mentions for this as well. Go on, then. <laughs> okay, so just scrolling down the list, there's Sonic Riders, which... Not a lot of people really have like a big opinion of, but I really enjoy Sonic Riders. Like I invested like I think a good part of like maybe forty hours plus in, in into that. Like just trying to actually get through it. Um if I scrolling further down, there's also the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. Red and Blue yeah. Rescue Team. Like they're all probably my most favourite DS games. Absolutely love Red and Blue Rescue yeah. Team. Yeah, um I'd say the thing is with the mystery dungeon games, is they get very same. <laughs> I don't. I don't, I love the, the grinding in the mystery dungeon games. Like I really, really loved it because oh, I, I'm, I was a sucker for the randomly generated rogue, rogue like aspects of it. I mm. thought it was, that was so much fun, and especially when you're at the end, like when there's the bit like with the joyous towers where your character starts back to level one, and you have to try and get through all 100 floors without like no items, nothing. It's just basically completely RNG. What happens from up there? So there's those. I'm like, just scrolling through, see if there's any others which I can recognise. Well, it's... One weird, one weird thing I've noticed: uh, the the game that got Game of the Year, the Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, uh, is not actually on the list of releases. I don't know what the fuck happened between 2004 and 2006. Oh, Destroy All Humans happened. Two. Destro oh no, it's Destroy All Humans Two. Don't care about that. Oh, yeah, it I came out that. early 2006. Oh, Fantasy Star Universe was also up that year. Oh. Well, I... Nah, I uh, Red and Blue Rescue Team. That's my favourite. Yeah. Well, if I'm going to pick one... Um, <coughs> well, there are some good titles here, don't get me wrong. But um, I I kind of want to go for Twilight Princess, but Hand on Heart, I, I prefer Gears of War. I've played that one more times. Uh, yeah. Gears of War for me. That's I have fond memories of playing that co-op. Maybe because I did it last like last year. So. <laughs> uh, we're still playing it all these years later. So I've got to go for something. And Dan? Uh, I think I probably will go Twilight Princess, but maybe... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, like I want to give a, an honourable mention to Final Fantasy XII. I know it has its uh, critique... Uh, critique and problems, but it is still quite a really a really good Final 
Fantasy game, but yeah, I think it, it, overall, I, I I I like Final Fantasy twelve, but I think the overall thing is a bit vanilla. But I'll give it this: it isn't Final Fantasy thirteen. You know what Final, <laughs> Final Fantasy twelve is? Mm. Final Fantasy Star Wars. Hmm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, maybe. I, yes. I'm just gonna. Uh, it's I'm literally. Just gonna say, I'm just going to say yes because I can't really remember the plot. <laughs> I could list off so many things as a plot and you'd be like, this is literally just Star Wars. Like, yeah, it, I'm, it's not even funny. Yeah, I, I think the dialogue might be just as uh, stilted as the, uh, the prequels. <laughs> All right, so. Twilight Princess, I'd, I'd probably say, but yeah. Yeah, so, so we've got Twilight Princess, Gears of War, and the one Brandon mentioned, which I've already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pokemon Mission Dungeon, Red or Blue Rescue Team. Yes, that of course. Yep. Yeah. How did I forget? <laughs> How did I forget? It must be a mystery. <laughs> All right. So that was 2006. I've, I've also neglected to mention Wii Sports, but yeah, everyone played that. That was the biggest selling game of that year. That's because it became packaged with every single Wii, and the Wii was huge. It was harder yeah. work not to own. <laughs> right. So yeah. Well, right. my brother's currently got the new, uh, uh, the one's it Switch Sports. He's having an absolute blast, apparently. I hope he is. Every, every right. time, he, uh, I keep seeing um, him and his wife, uh, keep seeing like Instagram posts of him just playing on Switch Sports, and he seems to be loving it. <laughs> that, right that, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even not trying to like say, oh, Switch Sports is bad. I'm just saying he's absolutely loving it. And I'm I'm really happy for him. Like I'm really genuinely like, oh, it's nice that, like, he, despite like I know we've just been like, oh yeah, we sports best selling game. Oh, we didn't bring it up, but like there was still something fun about we sports. Yeah, back there in was. Its prime. It just didn't age well. Yeah. <laughs> but in 2007, what came out, Chris? Okay, so game of the year. Which I think is justified, but 2007 again, fucking great year. There's a load of really good titles. In this I'll say because this is now where we enter the second, uh, the second generation consoles. Yep. So, well, not really. It's not really. I think it's like I know why you said second generation. Well, second, third generation. You know what I mean? It's not well. No. <laughs> no, you're still wrong on that. It's like seventh generation or something like that. Well, I mean, from our... Well, when I say second generation, I mean, like, we're now... Or third generation. We're now breaking away from... The PS2 is now becoming the PS3. The Xbox is now becoming the Xbox yeah, 360. But... And the GameCube is now becoming the Wii. I know I know what you're saying, but effectively, the PS1 yeah. isn't, like, the first generation of consoles. It's, it's first generation. It's not even It's not even first generation. Is it first generation Sony? First generation Sony, what? but I know what you... Anyway, let's just carry on. Otherwise yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a discussion for another day. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so 2007, uh, game of the year was Bioshock. Um, That's justifiable, yeah. mm, justifiable yeah. but I've never played I, it. Yeah, uh, it's justifiable, but we'll see what else is out. So, other games of note, 2007. Brace yourself, because there's quite a few. So, Super Mario Galaxy, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Holy Crisis, shit. Crisis, uh, Uncharted, the first Uncharted, the first Assassin's Creed, uh, Mass Effect, Portal, Halo 3, God of War 2, so it's still on the PS2. I think that's probably just one of the last titles released for it, I think. Um, Guitar Hero 3, oh, Tomb Raider no. Anniversary. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> uh, the Witcher, Command and Conquer 3, Tiberian Wars, uh, Team Fortress 2, uh, The Simpsons Game, Manhunt 2, The Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, and of course, everyone's absolute favourite, B movie. <laughs> oh, and Phantom Hourglass and Metroid Fucking Prime. Hell, movie. what a year! And, and, and Stalker and Jericho and The Darkness. Oh, when and you said when you said Metroid Prime, <laughs> free, I just I just want to go. <laughs> Not a fan of that one. Oh, and the Orange Box as well. Yep. <laughs> yep, um, and and Super Paper Mario. There's quite a lot that came out in 2007. This is going to be a tough one. Okay, I might need to. Uh, I've got like a whole list here, which yeah. I want to give honourable mentions to. I tell you what, it's not going to be. 
it's not going to be Sonic and the Secret Rings. And it's not going to be Karaoke Revolution Presents American Idol. What a shame. Hmm. Um, I don't know, there's some really good titles on here, but I, I might have to go just because I have genuinely played it the most out of all of these games. I might have to agree with the list and go with Bioshock on this one. Because, yeah. <laughs> That's quite popular, his old Bioshock. I got... I would, I think I might agree, but a close second is uh, Modern Warfare. COD 4, Modern Warfare. For once, I agree. Because that's like... Okay, I... It's no secret that I'm not really a fan of Call of Duty. I go as far as to say I, I actively dislike the franchise, but I really do like the Modern Warfare games, and that is quite the banger. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. I find Call of Duty a really weird franchise because I like, I think it's absolute garbage, apart from the Modern Warfare series. For three games, it was really good, and then I just don't like it anymore after that. Oh no. It's weird. Yeah. I've Again, just... discussion for another day. Yeah. Oh no, I've just seen 2008. The games in 2008, no. I'm just like, oh no. I'm, no I'm... cheating, Dan. No what? cheating, Dan. I'm skipping ahead. Oh yeah, no. no. Uh, if I was to pick one, it's either going to be Guitar Hero 3. I absolutely fucking played the hell of that game. It's either Guitar Hero 3. Oh, what's the other option? So it's Guitar Hero 3. Just, I'm literally just scrolling back through time just to find out what other ones I like. Halo 3. Okay. Or I COD. Enough, I don't know. I play Guitar Hero and I'm Guitar Hero 2, but I never play Guitar Hero 3. I went into Rock Band. So. Guitar Hero 3 was the first one I played because it was one that my friend brought in one day at school and I, I just fell that, in love. That's the one that's got Dragon Force Fire. Fire yes. Through the Fire Flames, yes. And it was also, I think it's probably the game which acted as the gateway for me to get into rock and heavy metal. Because I think previously, I think I was, I, this is going to sound so pathetic, but I think I was in that sort of edgy disney phase you know like i think roughly at the same time period i think camp rock came out with disney so obviously i was liking some of the some of the songs of that but then i started to play you know guitar hero 3 and i really really enjoyed it i'm not gonna lie i have never seen disney's camp rock Neither <laughs> I, have I, I. I, I i am aware of it i think i've never seen the cover and thinking what the fuck is that oh, it's just got the yeah, jonas brothers yeah. in it isn't it <laughs> Yes, it's not exactly what I think of when I think of rock camp. <laughs> mm. I think for me, in terms of the the game from 2007, which I invested the most hours into, mm-hmm. would be Halo 3. But honourable mentions will have to be Warriors Orochi. I did play on the PS2. I played it on the Xbox 360. Um, and uh, Guitar Hero 3. I think they're the ones... But if I was to pick one, it's going to be Halo 3. But so many good games that year. Even fucking Digimon Dusk and Dawn came out. Ugh. And I'm surprised no one picked Madden NFL 2008. Or MLB. Oh, well. Missed opportunity. Right then. So, moving on to 2008. But this okay. is where actually it gets a bit weird because the actual winner of 2008 was a 2007 game. Mm. Well, say depends on the release, doesn't it? Mm. But uh, I did mention it already. But uh, winner of the year 2008 was Super Mario Galaxy. But of the games that came out in 2008, you also had Grand Theft Auto 4, Halo 3, Super what, Smash what? Brothers. I mean Fallout 3. I do mean for me on that free. I was going to say. <laughs> well, maybe I understand this confusion. <laughs> well, At least someone understood. <laughs> Wait, they're yeah. still bringing PS2 games out this year. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, so Smash Bros. Brawl, uh, Mario Kart Wii, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Little Big Planet, Far Cry 2, Dead Space, Ooh. Left for Dead, fuck you, yeah. Persona 4, Battlefield, um, I'm not sure if I would count this one because it's just technically an expansion, but uh, Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King. I know that's very popular. Uh, Devil May Cry 4, Lego Indiana Jones, Fable 2, uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Gears of War 2, Mirror's Edge, and 
couple more. Sonic Unleashed. And let's go with, oh, I don't know, Rock Band 2. Let's go with that one. Is that the one you're choosing? That's not the one I'm choosing. <laughs> All right, so it, this this year is a bit of a weird one. I'm because there's two games here that I do replay quite a lot. Those being Fallout Three and Dead Space. Uh, I can see why uh, Galaxy got Game of the Year because it's Mario, but I thought it was all right. But that's the one where you got motion controls in it, and I'm not big on it. So, I don't know. I will probably go with Dead Space because just how immersive it was. And it's one of the few games where it put me on edge and nearly made me wee a little bit. And <laughs> no other horror game has done that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Dead Space for me, definitely. Although, I'm, I'm sure my mate uh, Pete will kill me for not mentioning Left 4 Dead because we still play that as well. Mm. I really like Fallout 3 as well. Don't get me wrong, Fallout 3 is fantastic, but I do burn the mm. So, So Dead Space for me is the winner on that one. But what about you guys? Just looking for him at the moment. and I'm up to July. And so far, I think it's Mario Kart Wii. But then again, okay, okay, this was the year where Guitar Hero 3 came onto the Xbox 360. But, so that doesn't really count, because it's just a it's console support, port. Yeah. Oh, um, hmm. Oh, I don't neglect it to mention, but um, Braid also came out that year. Well, that changes fact, everything. No, it doesn't. Yeah, well, I, I should say it does a little bit because 2008, with with the release of Braid, that's about the time like indie games were starting to be very big on the scene. That was that's one of the uh, front runners with like Xbox Live Arcade and stuff like that. Right. Well, We're probably gonna have to say Mario Kart Wii. Hmm. My, I think, for me, it's going to be Metal Gear Solid Four, but I would have said Persona Four, but my only reason I'm not saying Persona Four is because of Persona Four Golden, which I'd put, oh, which is the better version. Hmm. So, it is Metal Gear Solid Four. Alright. So yeah, I'll... I think my runner up would be Gears of War two. Only I... because I only played that for the story. I didn't really delve into the online aspects of it. I think what you can mm. come to terms with so far with the this game of the year is I've just picked near enough every single Metal Gear Solid game. It's <laughs> <laughs> not wrong with that, they're all good games. So I Nano I machines. Do... I do think Gears of War is better than Gears of War 1, which I think previously is my game of the year. Uh, but you just got to look at the lineup for that year. Mm. And I, yeah, Gears of War 2 is great, but Dead Space is better. <laughs> yeah, I've played it, so that's why I can't make an opinion of it. Have you not? I do highly recommend it. Again, that's one of the games I do generally play about once a year, because I'm just in the mood for Dead Space. And then I'll immediately jump into playing Dead Space 2. Because it's basically more of the same, and it seems like a shame to like play one and not the other, like back to back. Because like the story follows on, like pretty much immediately afterwards. So, so yeah, so we got Metal Gear Solid 4, Mario Kart Wii, and Dead Space. So our favourite type of game would be a racing game where Solid Snake hides in blue shells, and also it's on a desolate space station with Necromorphs. <laughs> That's oh, a hell of a title. To me. Get on it, Nintendo. Right, 2009, uh, hit it. 2009. So, again, I think this one is very well justified, but I'll look at the rest of the list in a moment. So, 2009's game of the year, according to BAFTA, was Batman Arkham Asylum. That's a, yes. game. That's a game. Never played it, so I don't it's, care. You've yeah. never played Arkham Asylum? Uh, no. I'm going to just say it now. It's, what, it's my pick, so... Yeah. Have you not I... even seen what else came out that year yet? Yeah, but <laughs> this is my pick. All right. Well, for everyone at home, the games that came out that year in 2009 as well. We had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Dragon Age Origins, Resident Evil 5, Assassin's Creed 2, Uncharted 2, Borderlands, Infamous, Halo 3 ODST, 
Left 4 Dead 2, Bayonetta, New Super Mario Bros, Prototype, Brutal Fucking Legend, which is so good I had to put fucking in the middle of it, <laughs> X-Men Origins Wolverine, which we've discussed before in this podcast, is possibly one of the best movie tying releases. Uh, Wii Sports Resorts, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Fear 2, and Ghostbusters the video game. <laughs> and Halo Wars as well. And, and Sonic and the Black Knight. There's quite a few titles of note. Um, There's quite a few games in here which I yeah. just played so much. Uh, Zelda Spirit Tracks as well uh, came out that year. And Shadow Complex as well. Uh, obviously, Shadow Complex is not going to get Game of the Year for this year, but it's actually a very good game if you like Metro Vania Wars. If you haven't played it. So, that's, that's just a recommendation on my book. So, what are we going with? I'm just scrolling through the list again now. Well, hmm. one of the reasons why I've, I'm going to, I think Batman Arkham Asylum is justified is it feels like a Metroidvania. It feels more like mm. Metroid yeah, is. than many yeah. other things. Like the way the whole map opens up, the more gadgets you get, and it, I, I, if I compare it to like Arkham City, I, I think Ark. I think Arkham Asylum is better than Arkham City, story-wise. I think the gameplay of Arkham City is probably better, but I think the whole package of Asylum, I think, is the better of the two. But that's, you know, that, yeah. Well, also, Arkham Asylum had the um, like the sort of rhythmic <laughs> combat system, which a mm. lot of games came out afterwards tried to rip off. Oh, yeah. To make success. Uh, uh, before I get too caught up, so I will probably pick myself, and at risk of uh, saying I'll pick this one later down the line, but we'll see what the lineup is. I'm going to go with Borderlands. I would go with Borderlands 2, but I've yet to see what other games came out that year, so I might change my mind. And I don't want to do what I did with Time Splitters and not pick it either year. Oh, the one's going to come up. And I'm going to go with um, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2. Oh, I just used to love just because it was during that again. It was just just after the Halo Three, you know that edgy teenager when you're at school, go home from uh, school, play Call of Duty with your mates, go into yeah. a nuke lobby, you know, get tenth prestige because some nice guys hacked the game to give you like the max level. That's fucking mm. beautiful. Yeah, 2009 was overall quite a solid year. It was also we should we should also mention 2009 was the beginning. Of Souls Born. Yes. What well, well, did Demon Souls come out of that? Yep. Yeah. Where is it? I can't see it on the list. Or is it just the Japanese release? No. Yeah, it's not mine. It's still. Over. But it did come out. Tw- yeah, yeah, it did. We know this to be true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Well, it's not on there, so. No. Oh well. Oh well. I'm just no. going to pop this. Is. But I've. I would still go with Borderlands. Would be and I'll still go with Modern Warfare 2. Same. I still go with Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Okay. I've got a good year. Moving on. Okay. We've finally made it to the 2010s. <laughs> we are in the uh, double digits. Well, we're still four digits. Last but... decade. <laughs> yes. So, the game of the year, according to the list, was Mass Effect 2. Ooh. But you also Ooh. had... Wow! You also had uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, God of War 3, Halo Reach, Red Dead Redemption, Limbo, uh, Amnesia Dark Descent, Bioshock 2, Heavy Rain, Starcraft 2, which I believe is very popular, um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, there you go, that's Dan's game of the year, we've decided. <laughs> no, it's not. I've never played it. <laughs> I've never played it, uh, so. Uh, it was a Just Cause 2, Alan Wake, Fallout New Vegas, Final Fantasy 14, which I think he's still going, uh, Metroid Ever M, which is nobody's game of the year. <laughs> no. Uh, Dark Siders, Fable 3, uh, Dante's Inferno, Xenoblade Chronicles, Mafia 2, Force Unleashed. It's a lot of games again. A lot of games again this year. Uh, well, Super Meat Boy and the Prince of Persia reboot as well. The Forgotten Sands. It's quite a few. I'm going to say Amnesia the Dark Descent. 
just for being the most immersive horror game I've ever played. But if it was if I was going for nostalgia, it would be Black Ops, just because they brought back the zombies gameplay. Yeah, nostalgia, it would be Black Ops, but it's not my pick and uh, for this year, and you didn't read it out because it's not on the, the list of games you were li- reading out, but it's my favourite Pokemon games, Pokemon Black and White. You know what? I've not mentioned any of the Pokemon games. I've not mentioned. Uh, you mentioned Yellow. Yeah, but um, I mean, like, there's no, there's been like no like Emerald or no Gold and Silver either. Yeah. Oh, so, so for me, it would be, you know, Soul Silver whenever that, whatever year that came out. Yeah, the remake. Ah, fair enough. Um, well, I mentioned Fallout New Vegas, so yeah, it's still Fallout New Vegas. I completed that again only a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'd argue, is it like? technically best game of the year because it is essentially just a reskin and of like fallout 3 but i think considering the time constraints of it and how good that game turned out i think it's outstanding fucking love fallout new vegas which is weird because i don't like gambling at all i've got no interest in casinos or the strips or anything like that but i really like that game i wish i invested more time in the fallout series because i because obviously i was a massive fan of skyrim as it, was, mm. it was nice to, oh, spoiler alert, for the next year. But, you know, I would have loved to be able to get more involved with... Um... So, so for me, it's because for that, like, the Fallout and, and the, like, the Skyrim is basically just interchangeable. To a point. Yeah, it's, it's just, like, the mechanism. <laughs> I, for some reason, I just couldn't get used to the fact it's a first-person shooter now, <laughs> basically. Well, I very rarely use shooting. <laughs> I'm more of a melee character. But, but yeah, but that gets my game in the air because... Come on. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Well, I'd say Mass Effect 2 like being game of the year. And yeah, it's good, but I don't think it's as good as a lot of people say it is. I like the Mass Effect series fine, but that's it. I just think it's fine. Uh, oh, well. What can you do? All right, times are ticking. Uh, right, 2011, Portal 2, got game of the year. Oh, I think we all know what we're going to pick this year, but all right, let's read the nominations. Okay, uh, yeah, so, I think we all know what we're picking this year. So we've got Batman Arkham City, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Saints Row the Third, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Battlefield 3, Uncharted 3, Warhammer 40k, Space Marines, Top. Souls, I think that's called. Um, yes. Skyrim, Halloween Noir, Terraria. Uh, Shall I just stop? <laughs> we know it's clear. We know it's dark stuff. So. But you also yeah. had. Oh, uh, no, I, I can't. No, I've got to do the uh, Sonic Generations, Crisis 2, Dead Space 2, Dragon Age 2, uh, The Witcher 2. Uh, what sequels? Mario Kart 7. Yeah, well, there's a lot of sequels this year. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Dead Island, Bulletstorm, Gears of War 3, uh, fuck. Rage. I remember. Rage for some reason. The, the picture for Rage is Rage 2 for some reason. I just remember. Duke Nukem Forever. Oh, go on I, there. I remember 2011 just being an absolute bonkers year for games. Yeah. Like, I still can remember being at college and just being like, wait, this game is coming out? Wait, this one, this one, this one? What the? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even finished yet. Um, no. Mine, Minecraft, I think that's pretty popular. Yeah, Minecraft uh, is fantastic. Uh, Nino Kuni, uh, oh. Final Fantasy XIII 2, which is actually surprisingly better than Final Fantasy XIII. Actually, I've just made, noticed there was no mention of Final Fantasy XIII in our previous list. Good. Uh, Bastion, The Binding of Isaac, and a game that we've yet to mention on the podcast called Skyward Sword. I don't think we've ever mentioned that. We need to do an episode about that. Uh, it's Dark Souls, isn't it? <laughs> Close. Right, I'm gonna do, right I, I think we. Well, I think I Skyrim would be. I think it just has to be the honourable mention. I played. I played more of Skyrim than Dark Souls, so I think it. If I'd never completed Dark Souls, it would be Skyrim. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think well, all of us, all of us can agree, we didn't get Dark Souls that year, did we? Well, probably Chris did. I got it when it was free on Xbox yeah. Gold. Same no, I paid me. money for mine. 
I don't think I got it on that year, but I might have got it 2012. I'm sure it'll pop up on my Facebook memories at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't play Dark Souls until like two years after it came out. So if I was going to go for nostalgia, it would be Skyrim. But if it's like modern day Brandon, <laughs> of course it's going to be Dark Souls. Well, I, I can kind of defend the game of the year being Portal 2 because that is a banger. Yeah, Portal 2 is great. Pretty- yeah, and so is Arkham City. There's, again, there's a lot of good games, but I am glad I picked uh, Dead Space my game of the year only a couple of years ago because Dead Space 2 this year came out in 2011. And, yeah, that's good. But again, it's just like more of the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are we are going to have to go with Dark Souls. But Dark Souls. I, I, I think a very close second goes to, of course, uh, for God of Thunder. <laughs> Dire, <Diary>, please. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't, does it? Fine, we'll give it to Homefront. Byron, please. <laughs> All right, moving on. Oh, God, this is taking off ages. Right, moving on. Uh, 2012, Dishonored. Don't oh, care. Let's move on. Don't care. You don't care. Well, I've never played it. You know, it's all no. right. It's all right. I wouldn't give a game of the year, but it's all right. Uh, you also have Far Cry 3, Borderlands 2. Yeah, that's my game of the year. Never played. I haven't played Borderlands. Uh, uh, you had Telltale's The Walking Dead. Died. Um, mm, Mass Effect 3. Don't care. <laughs> uh, just, just stop me when you care about something. Then. Okay. Uh, Dark Siders 2. Don't uh, care. Resident Evil Revelations. Don't care. Halo 4. Uh, I care a little bit. Right. Spec Ops The Line. Never heard of it. Don't uh, care. Never. Spec Ops The Line is really fucking good. It's really fucking good. It's one of the strongest narratives in any game ever. You should check it out. Honestly. Uh, Max Payne 3. I like okay. Max Payne 3. Mm. Sleeping Dogs. That's really <laughs> fucking good. Uh, XCOM. Oh, I you care. Mine? I care. Oh, I did say Borderlands 2, but I really like... No, I'm still, still going to stick with Borderlands 2. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 6. Um, Super Mario Bros. U. Zombie You, Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed, The Family Guy Game, Prototype 2, SCP Containment Breach, uh, Diablo 3. Is that that old? I thought it was new on that. Uh, Hotline Miami as well. Nope. Well, for me, it's. Well, I mentioned it earlier Persona 4 Golden. Um, because essentially that is a remake, I will say Borderlands 2, but I think I, like, it's a toss-up between Persona 4 Golden and Borderlands 2 for me. Mm-hmm. Mine's Warriors or Orochi 3. That's why you, I've, got, yeah. I've got that game for an absolute bargain. Yeah. Absolutely loved the combat and the new character they brought in. Absolutely mm. banger. I'd say, uh, Dishonored getting Game of the Year, I think. It's kind of justified. It is good. But I don't think it feels it borrows too many aspects from Bioshock. So, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd say, a, because it was very popular, I'm surprised The Walking Dead didn't get Game of the Year. That's I thought it was popular. Journey. I thought Journey got it, but uh, I guess not. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, Journey came out this year as well. Oh. missed that one. Uh, yeah. uh, literally... oh, although... Th- just, just a very slight tangent again. Sorry. Um, do check out Spec Ops: The Line. I know it looks like a sort of army shooter. It, it is meant to be good. Is, and it is, it is really good though. Like it's it's the kind of game um, you, you'd see on the shelf and just pass by it. You won't pay it any second mind, but it is very very good. So please please play it. <laughs> okay. Two thousand thirteen. The Last of Us. Game of the Year in 2013, which that's pretty good. I think is it. I think that's probably driven by a cult following from you know like the big YouTubers who started playing it. So I think it wasn't for those. I don't know if it necessarily would have gotten as much traction as it necessarily mm. did. I don't know. No, I don't think so. No, it is Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog is huge. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't hear about it until I started seeing like the big YouTubers playing it. No, I saw loads. I think I. I think I went through. Uh, maybe a year or two after it got released before I heard about it. <laughs> no, I've, I've never seen plenty of advertising. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, 
Well, other games of note. Um, Grand Theft Auto Five. Don't care. Yeah, Bioshock Infinite. I'm waiting for you to say don't care. In the room. Uh, you know I don't care. <laughs> uh, the reboot of Devil May Cry. The reboot uh, of Tomb Raider. Raider. Yeah, Tomb Raider. That's all right. Uh, Metal Gear Rising, which I know a lot of people like. Beyond Two Souls. Stanley Parable. How do, how do, right, Dan, sorry, a bit of a hot take here. We've also got Old School RuneScape is on this year. I'm surprised we missed off the original release of RuneScape. You know, what, what was it, 2005? Ish? What are you saying about what? Old School RuneScape was released 2013 as well. Oh. I'm just, I'm just like, how do we miss off the original RuneScape? Because they're better games. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I, just, yeah. I think it just didn't appear on the list. Says me who plays RuneScape near enough every day, but still. Hmm. Yeah. What other what other highlights uh, you got, Chris? Yeah, so uh you got the oh you got the Final Fantasy fourteen reboot and well reborn, which is very popular. Uh uh the Wind Waker got its HD re release, uh Rogue Legacy. Uh Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds. Pretty good. Super Mario three D World. The Wolf Among Us. Uh, yeah, Wolf Among Us. Uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Blah. Outlast. Uh, you got Right to Hell Retribution, which is everyone's favourite game, surely. Uh, Arkham Origins Payday 2, which was... Payday 2 was one of those games that was like, going to be absolutely massive, like the next big thing, and then wasn't. Uh, Metro Last Light. Metro Last Light is a big game. But it's not going to be my pick. Although it is up there. Okay, so what are we going with? Last of Us. But a close second would be Tomb Raider. Mm. I'm torn between The Last of Us and The uh, Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. Link Between Worlds is really good. Mm. I think I'm going to have to go with The Last of Us as well, just with the amount of technical achievements it had. I, I picked that over Bioshock Infinite. Um. It's I'm just looking. Good. I'm just looking through the, the games, and I'm just like, there's nothing really I played. Well, there's probably other stuff there that other stuff released that year that won't be on when you type in what you're typing in. So you know, mm. I'm literally I'm just looking through the list. I like. I think the best thing I've seen is just ports of older games onto different consoles, and that's probably. Mm. What it is, but I really I don't know what it was about 2013. I just didn't really play anything new. Oh yeah, oddly enough, uh, you got the Deadpool game came out in 2013, which is underrated as well. That's that's a decent game. I mean, if I'm going to vote anything, it's probably going to be one of the Dynasty Warriors games that came out that year. Oh no, I think I might have found it actually. Um, I think it. I think I might go for the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Three. Oh, that's Maybe. fun. I was just literally looking through the list, and there's just nothing else I played. Which, well, look at, like, there was Terraria, which came on the PlayStation, but, I mean, it's already been out, so I can't really count that. I'm just I'm mm. literally looking, I think, so far, unless I see anything within, like, the next minute or so, I'm probably going to have to say the Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Because mm. there's just literally just nothing else. Right then. Well, we'll worry with that. Right, moving up to 2014. We are getting there. We're in the tail stretch. Uh, so, the game of the year for 2014 was Destiny. I think I can say a big fat for that. <laughs> uh, so, 2014, we also had Dragon Age Inquisition, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Alien Isolation, Wolfenstein The New Order, Evil Within, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Bayonetta 2, Far Cry 4, South Park The Stick of Truth, some game called Dark Souls 2, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, I've heard of that game. Had, uh, Metal, oh, I just have that. Oh, I was going to say Metal Gear Solid 5, but actually it's Ground Zeroes. Yeah, Ground Zeroes. Oh, Ground, yeah. Uh, Second Sun, Assassin's Creed Unity, Mario Kart 8, uh, if you count it, the Halo Chief Master Collection. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, Smash Bros. Wii, 
and by extension 3DS as well, because they both came out the same day. Titanfall and... Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator, yeah, of course. PT, that one you can't get anymore. Um, Borderlands pre-sequel, Child of Light, uh, Castlevania Laws of Shadow 2. Is it Five Nights at Freddy's? Do we count that as a game? That's not a game, is it? That's just a fad. Uh, yeah. It is good though, but I mean, I think we all know what we're gonna say. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna go for Pinball FX2. Thought you would. Nah, 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 nah. Dark Souls 2 for me. Fuck's wrong with Pinball FX? <laughs> I think Dark Souls 2 yeah. was one of the first. I think it was probably the first game I've ever pre-ordered. Oh, really? I think well, I've so. never been really hyped for it. And since I've done several streams of it. And the 24-hour stream, which got my Twitch thing going. I have a soft spot for Dark Souls 2, so I kind of, I've kind of got to give it to that. But yeah, um, Destiny gave me the year. Get stuff. Destiny's crap. Hot take. I'm sorry if Destiny fans out there. <laughs> Although I'm very inclined. If it wasn't for Dark Souls 2, I would give it to Wolfenstein: The New Order because that's such a fun game. But then you then you got Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, the whole Nemesis system, which AI wise was groundbreaking. Uh, Dan, um, I kind of don't want to say Dark Souls two, but Just I can't. I did. But I can't really see anything else. Not because I don't dislike Dark Souls two. I just, I I, I don't know. I'm like, it, was that the best game of that year? Yes. I, um, I'm I'm trying to have a look, and I'm like, I don't think I can find anything by the time we we have to go on to next year. So I guess maybe that's, that's it, the same problem I had with 2013. I think it might have to be that, you know. I don't, I don't so, want to shout out Alien Isolation Evil Within for both being solid games, but they are infuriating for like the instant death bullshit. If it weren't for that, there'd be we would contend. Oh well. Right, keep the strainer rolling. Huh? 2015. Oh. Fallout 4. There's a big game. I'll say there's a big game I'm waiting for you guys to say. Uh, so, something called Bloodborne. Was it what, 2015? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, Halo 5. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Dying Light. Uh oh. Star Wars Battlefront. Uh oh. The Witcher 3. Carry on. Mortal Kombat 10. Battlefield Hardline. I think you already know what's going to happen with my voice. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Undertale. Rocket League. Mad Max. Mad Max is alright, actually. I do recommend that one. Uh, Until Dawn. Soma. Fucking more Five Nights at Freddy's. It's not half the pissing list. <laughs> Man, that's quite a few. Uh, Mario Party 10. Everyone's gone to the Rapture, Wolfenstein, the Old Blood, uh, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, as well. Uh, damn well, damn well is all right, but a little fart around. And Evolve, Evolve, you know that big multiplayer online thing that was going to be absolutely huge, cost a fucking ton of money. And I'm not bitter. I bought it for a friend for his birthday, sixty quid, and it fucking tanked. Oh, <laughs> I'm not bitter about that at all. Well, it's Bloodborne, isn't it? Yeah. No, not for yeah. me. But but obviously Bloodborne is a runner-up for me. It's Undertale. <clears throat> I was going to say Undertale would be a runner-up for this year. For me, it'd be Undertale. Undertale as mine, but then Bloodborne and Metal Gear Solid: The Phantom Pain as runners-up. Yeah, and Fallout Four as well. I I kind of see why that got game of the year. Yeah, I I, I remember right. This was the year I remember that I made a bet with um, my workmate at the time, and he he swore that uh, Call of Duty was gonna was gonna get um, game of the year, and I was like, "No, mate, it's Fallout 4." By the way, I've never played Fallout 4, and I don't own it. So, and then yeah, that happened. I I don't know if he gave me anything. It was just like, "Oh, I won the bet," but yeah, I basically just been like, "No, it ain't gonna be COD, mate." Yeah. Okay, well, uh, 
2016. Yeah, 2016, so game of the year, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. And I've just seen the first couple of results and already I'm, like, I'm split between myself. I was thinking, oh, you bastard. So uh, you also have Dishonored 2, Dark Souls 3, XCOM 2, Dare Say It's Mankind Divided, Watch Dogs 2, Titanfall 2, which is very good, but I'm not going to give you any of you. Uh, Last Guardian, Inside, uh, No Man's Sky, yeah, um, Far Cry Primal, The Witness, uh, The Hitman reboot, Firewatch, Ratchet and Crank reboot, Gears 4, Doom 2016, oh you bastard, <laughs> three out of time, can I sell a tape them together and have them three? That's not fair, that's not fair, you can't give me three of my favourite games in one year. Uh, Owl Boy, Mafia Free, and Steep on Planet Coaster as well. I think I already know which one I'm going to have to pick. Oh, I think we we definitely know what you're going to pick. Yeah, it's Dark Souls Three because it's my favourite Soulsborne game. Yeah, like there was no. Yeah, I mean, we knew but we it, knew that. Yeah, but if I was going to pick something which was not Soulsborne, if I can. Uh, what else was on that list? That's not Soulsborne. Hmm. Just going through the list again. Uh, uh... Oh, crikey. Oh, crikey. So, yeah, it's Dark Souls 3. That was an absolute freaking banger. Now, does anyone want to talk while I'm looking for a, a, a non Souls yeah, option? Um, so. Doom, Dark Souls 3, and XCOM 2 to pick between. Fuck. <laughs> right, I, I'm, I'm going to go with XCOM 2, but only because Doom Eternal exists, <laughs> and it's better than Doom 2016, and only because I've also picked Dark Souls 1, 2, and Bloodborne as game of the year so far. So, even though I prefer Dark Souls 3 to 2, yeah, it's XCOM 2 for me. My backup oh, yeah. is Overwatch. Mm. Mm. And then... Well, um, well, I don't know. Uh, probably maybe Overwatch or Dark Souls 3 or probably one of those two. I, I don't know. I've played more Overwatch probably, but I think maybe Dark Souls 3 is the better of the two. Uh, I, I don't know. I like I like both of them, but I'm I'd probably say Dark Souls three. Mm. Oh, it's a close one. If 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 XCOM two wasn't there, <laughs> I'd have given it to. But I I've kind of heard that for, just for variety's sake. So, oh man, twenty seventeen. Right. Okay, so this one was What Remains of Edith Finch. Fantastic which, game. It's a very good game. I don't know. Do if you see what else came out this year? Uh, so you also had Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, uh, Prey, Injustice 2, South Park the Fracture But Hold, Near Automata, Breath of the Wild, Neo, Cuphead, Night in the Woods, Horizon Zero Dawn, the Evil Within 2, Doki Doki Literary Club, yep. uh, Metroid Summers Returns, Cuphead, uh, Persona 5, Little, Little Nightmares, Sonic Mania, Wolfenstein the New Colossus, XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Can I change my answer? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's an add-on, I don't care. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, Dishonored 2, Call of Duty World War 2, uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew, uh, Splatoon 2, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'll be honest, I can see why Edith Finch got Game of the Year. I think, personally, it would be in like my top five for the, that year, but mm -hmm. it wouldn't be my number one. But Edith Finch is a great game, and it, it, people should play it. But I think, for me, it would be Neural Automata, like, hands down. Yeah, yeah this one's a so, tricky one for me. Oh, so for me... If I was to pick a runner-up, purely because of like the inner weave of me, 
it's going to be the Digimon game, Digimon Next Order, because that's probably the best Digimon game that's ever came out since uh, Digimon World 1. But obviously, if I was to pick something which in terms of gameplay was absolutely smashing it, it would be Breath of the Wild. Mm. This is a really tough pick for me. So, it's a toss-up between Resident Evil 7, The Evil Within 2, and Sonic Mania. I think I'm going to shake things up a bit and go with Sonic Mania. Because that's one I can just pick up and play if I'm having a shit day. And just blast it for like 10 minutes or whatever I need to. And just pick up my day. But Evil Within 2 I've replayed several times. Uh, Biohazard, I've fucking played that to death as well. So, But I think I'm, I'm to try and avoid picking Resident Evil all the time. I'm going to go with Sonic Mania. That is such a good game. Mm. Soundtrack's banging as well. 2008? Uh, 18? Yep, moving on. Uh, so, the one for this year, to so not get confused, was God of War. The PS4 God of War, for obvious reasons. It'd be a bit weird if the original God of War got game in the <laughs> uh, <laughs> But you also had Red Dead Redemption 2, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, Monster Hunter World, Celeste, Spider Man, like the Sony one, the Marvel one. The, um, that was a bit subtle. Subnautica. I'm trying Lots to. I'm that. trying. I'm trying to like. Um, subtly make you guys say Subnautica. It's not gonna work, man. It's not. <laughs> I, I already know what I'm, I'm picking. Yeah. Uh, you got a way out. Octopath Traveler. That's pretty good. Um. Fucking Fallout 76. <laughs> no. uh, Destiny 2, Pokemon Let's Go, uh, Far Cry 5, Spire Rig Nighty Trilogy, the reboot of Shadow of the Colossus, Sea of Thieves, Nino Kuni 2, Mega Man 11, which I have still not played, The Messenger, which I have played, and that's very good, uh, The Moonlighter, uh, Overcooked, you know that year as well? So overcooked. Love that game. Mm. Till it corrupted yeah. my PS4. Mm. Uh, and Return of the Obra Dinn, which I know has a cool following. Whew. Um, Spider Man. Same. Subnautica. Spider Man. Subnautica. But both big, all game of S. Well, while you guys are flying in the air, I'm under the water. Yeah. Because well, we can't spot you as a spidey sense. Spider Man will drown trying to get you. It's all right, I've got monsters which are freaking huge. <laughs> so, 2019? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I, just saw, I just saw it. I, I, I know what I'm thinking. Contain yourself, man. Contain yourself. I've been oh, playing it today as well, so... I think well, we've already discussed what it's going to yeah. be for this year. Well, 2019 was quite a brief <laughs> discussion for us, but... I know, Smash Brothers was really good as well. I'm sorry about Sekiro. Hold on, hold on. I'll do this. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Uh, I need to get out of my system. Mm, fine. Well, the game of the year for 2019 was The Outer Wilds, which I've got to be honest, I've played that for like sort of like 15 minutes and got bored immediately. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not my game. It, it's the one where you have the 22 minute time loop. That's the one. Yeah. I know, it's, but a lot of people get confused between the Outer Wilds and the Outer Worlds. Yes, they do. Oh, okay. The Outer Wilds is more like Fallout, but then the Outer mm. Worlds is like where you. No, the Outer the Worlds is like Fallout. <laughs> the Outer Wilds is the 22 time. See, it's happened already. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. so you've also got in 2019 Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, Control, Super Mario Maker 2. Ace Combat 7, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, uh, the remake of Legend of Zelda, Vince Awakening, the Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, Luigi's oh. Mansion 3, Untitled Goose Game, Call of Duty, uh, whatever one that is. <laughs> They're all the same. Uh, Metro Exodus, uh, Devil May Cry 5, Tana Zero, Fire Emblem... Three Houses, which I think has been mentioned on here before. A devotion. Uh, yeah. Borderlands 3. Sekiro. The Outer Worlds, not the Outer Wilds. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. Yeah. Odin. 
Apex Legends, Gears 5, Mortal Kombat 11, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Baba is You, which I've never played, but it looks fun. Uh, Days Gone, and Division, and Death Stranding. Again, quite a few. Wow. Yours is Sekiro, isn't it? <laughs> Mine's actually, I'm torn between Sekiro and Code Vein. Well, mine is Free Houses. And... Yep. Mm. There's no. Yeah. Code oh, Vein, I wanted to like more, but the level design is shit. What did they give it for? Oh, they gave Outer Wilds, yeah. Yeah, yeah Outer Wilds, got it. Yeah. I mean, in terms uh, of gold building, I've got to give it to Sekiro, but in terms of just, you know, weebness, I have to go with. Code Vein, because Code Vein is hard at times, but not I as think, hard as I mean, yeah. Sekiro is sometimes. too hard, and that's why I just, nah. See, if we're going with Souls like on this one, I'm not going to pick Sekiro. I'd go with Jedi Fallen Order. I think that's far better. But that's not my game of the year, because my game of the year is, of course, Resident Evil 2 Remake, because hot damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is, that is a game. That's one of the few games I could say. That, I'm not a speedrunner, but if I had to pick it, game that would be one i could possibly contend with uh but yeah jedi fallen order is better than sekiro fight me <laughs> it just is uh yeah so resident evil 2 for me dan's was foreign and free uh, houses free houses of course and, and mine was a toss-up was... between sekiro or code vein i give that to sekiro myself. yeah i was gonna get sekiro yeah Cut the Covain level design is fucking piss poor. I liked it. The second half, where it's just like the same corridors over and over and over again. Confusing as fuck. Nah. No. It's like fine for the first half, and then the second half just shits itself. <laughs> oh well. Uh, right then. We've got two 2020. Years left. Two years to go. Right. 2020 went to Hades, which I think is fine. I don't see why everyone else likes it that much. But I'm just going to skip ahead of it, because uh, I see Doom Eternal on my on this list, and yep, Doom Eternal is great. Doom Eternal all fucking day. Because that's better than Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> uh, got Final Fantasy VII Remake, got Neo 2, Genshin Impact, Cyberpunk 2077, which I still have not played, uh, The Last of Us Part 2, Crash Bandicoot 4, Streets of Rage 4, uh, Paper Mario oh, God, King, Resident Evil 3 Remake, the Demon Souls remake, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which I have not played yet, um, Wasteland 3, which I have played, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, what else? If Found, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, well, Ghost of Tsushima, Star Wars Squadrons, uh, Warcraft 3, which I know pissed everyone off, the remake. So yeah, that's a few. It's Doom Eternal for me. Oh, Animal Crossing. Oh, oh. Gets See, I really, really love Neo 2. But if I was to pick a game which I've played the most, it would probably be Genshin Impact. Mm. That was alright for a free game. I couldn't knock it. So. It was a free game. had a massive world. Nice nice little like exploration system. All the quests you can do... You know, it felt really nice and rounded to me. Well, I played Genshin Impact on stream and while I was affiliate, so I'm one of the few people that actually played a mobile game and actually made money out. <laughs> I beat the system. Although I'm just, I'm just trying to double check because I know one of my other favourite games came out, but I can't remember if it was that year or the other year. Mm. Well, sorry, Doom Eternal, Super Shotgun, Go on, give me some okay. I'm already unsure. <laughs> Um, I'm, just, I'm just making sure Subnautica Below Zero didn't come out that year. That was last year, wasn't it? That's what I'm hoping, yeah. Mm. Um, wait a minute. Uh, Among Us? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Among Us actually came out in like 2018. Yeah. Yeah, it only just got really popular. YouTube. Oh, it was the port on the Switch that year. Never mind. I'd probably say for me, if found. Mm, not played that one. Well, I, I see. I spoke about it on the podcast a while back. That's yeah, yeah. really good. Got to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for, for, me, for me, 
for me, a close second would be uh, Resident Evil 3 followed by the Demon Souls remake. Well, that's 2019. And then we... The final well, year. Well, we were, I think we already know, for people who have listened to our podcast, they know what our picks for last year were. Because they were Resident yeah. Evil Village, Metro, yep. uh, Metro Dread, and... Uh, Subnautica below zero. Subnautica below zero. Yeah. But I'm just going to have a look at the because now I'm actually going to look through the list to see what else came out. Obviously, yeah. I've played more games since then. The problem is when you record it, sometimes you forget about things right earlier. <laughs> you think, oh shit, yeah. oh, I've completely forgot about that game. Wait, since when was uh, Neo 2 remastered? I didn't realise it had a remaster. No, I didn't realise it had a remaster. There you go. Uh, so, what I really like about this one, okay, the game of the year is. Like one random poo pooed, which is eternal. <laughs> mm, Honestly, the game cool. is the game itself is really really fun. Story's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we had our games of the year already, but for just completion's sake, so we have Resident Evil Village, It Takes Two, Hitman Three, Pokemon Snap, Psychonauts Two, uh, Super Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury, Back for Blood, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, which I have not played. Uh, Metroid Dread, Death Door, which I have played. That was Johnny. Uh, Little Nightmares, Death Loop. I mean, come on, it was last year. Uh, <laughs> surely, surely people remember last year, apart from the ones that have died. Sadly. <laughs> oh God, dog. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Five, uh, Chivalry Two, Ratchet Crank Rift Apart, Battlefield 2042, Pokemon Shining Pearl, Guardians of the Galaxy. Which I have played since the game of the year, and I have liked that one very much. Uh, yeah, and Halo Infinite as well. So I'm I'm still sticking with Village. Nothing's changed my mind. Well, I think but, same for me. It's still um, dread. I'm gonna mm-hmm. stick with Subnautica. And there we go. Then that was an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, so, should, we just do, should we just do a quick abrupt 2022? Because I'm gonna say Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, it's gone past April, so we could. Go... <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring 2022. <laughs> yeah, fine, fine. I've got pick that too. All right, well, so yeah. Uh, as a quick aside, um, I was going to very quickly like the list we went through of actual games of the year. So the ones we kind of agreed with was um, very little, but we did uh, we did agree with Bioshock. We you did. With... All right. Major- <laughs> ma- 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 majority. Then. <laughs> uh, Goldeneye 007 we, uh, I think that's the one we nearly unanimously went for mm. we, we do differ but on the whole we uh, we can at least see why they got here no uh, no fine <laughs> alright Mr. Don't Care I don't care Yeah. Like, why did Destiny get 2014 I don't know why is that even there why isn't that in worse games <laughs> like, what the fuck happened in 2014 that's, that's somehow more of a mystery of what happened in 2005. I think, I think my mystery is 2001 with Gran Turismo, Tony Hawk, and Max Payne. I think that's my biggest mystery. I'm just going to have to Google what the hell happened to 2005. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe but, it wasn't on that year. Yeah, I don't think it was because they, they did the 2005 awards in 2006 yeah. and then they oh, recapped it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, we'll just pick Resident Evil 4 for that. <laughs> By, by unanimous decision. By me. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, guys. Uh, so we fought for the uh, year anniversary. We'll go for every single game of the year. And we have. So there you go. What are your games of the year for every single year? Please yeah, send please. in the line list. Uh, but don't send it. Because we won't. Yeah, post it on our social <laughs> medias. Make sure you... Because obviously, <laughs> any, any sort of social media question we we get, we do, you know, speak to each other about it. And we do want to include it on the podcast. So yeah... Always, yeah, always yeah. like contact on that like, Victory Chief Facebook posts. Just put anything. Yeah, just but if you if you do agree the... that this, yeah, if you do agree though that Destiny Cup should deserve Game of the Year 2014, I don't think we can be friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Wow, that was a list, wasn't it, lads? <laughs> mm. Finally, close this tab now. I've been staring at this tab for hours. My eyes are drying. <laughs> it's done. It's done. We did it. Now we've got to think of a list for next year. Yeah, it's, it's Elden Ring. It's Elden Ring. Just, just Elden Ring. 
That, that's the list. That's Elden Ring. I want yeah. another game to come out that's better than Elden Ring because it'd just be more interesting. I yeah, we, we need something to compete with Elden Ring. But yeah, well, I guess whether something does or not. Well, that is another episode in the bag. That is one year of podcasting, boys. Yes, thank you everyone for who's been listening for the entire year. Mm. If you have been listening for the entire year, consider yourself listener of the year, twenty twenty two. Been an absolute pleasure, everyone. It has. Except for the times you said I don't care. That yeah, I just don't like care. It wasn't a pleasure. <laughs> to be fair, he he needs to go to bed, so that's why he's been trying to speed it up. No, I just literally don't care about the games as well. And yeah, no. I do need to go better some as well because I've got work. But a lot of those games we should read out, I just literally don't care because I've never heard of them or never played them. You need to get on it, Brandon. you got a battle to get through. I do, actually, especially for films. Oh, my God. I think we all, we all do. And that's you were just saying about films. That's not even talking about anime films. You know how bad I am for that. Yeah. So. <laughs> like how many times have I messaged you, Dan, going, I need to watch this? And you're like, Brandon, you need to watch Silent Voice. I'm like, yes, I'll get it to it eventually. You need to watch Kimi no, you need to watch your name. I'm like, yes, I know, I'll eventually get there. I saw a, I saw a meme over your name where it's like had the had like a, a clip from it and, and someone was like, What 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 film is this? And then someone replied, Your name, and it's like, What? It's called Ruben. It's like, no. <laughs> Steve. But anyway, as always, thanks for listening. I'll Links are always on our like social media and all that. Always in the episode descriptions on wherever you get your podcasts. Be sure to give us a review on Apple Podcasts, five star, or as high as you want to give us on Spotify. But five star would be the I, best. Um, I, I I think I think podcast of the year is what we want. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, follow us on social media. And Brandon and Chris will be streaming. On a Twitch, uh, well, Chris is always, but Brandon's now back on. Yeah, yep, I've returned. Yeah, Hooray. Oh, oh, something we didn't you didn't discuss, Vampire Survivors, but maybe next time. But yeah, uh, I need to play more of it to do that. Yeah, I played like two hours today. So good. Uh, but yeah, we Thank you me. will hear us again in two weeks. Yep, same time next year, lads. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be safe and. Bye. Bye. Bye.